Hola. Shit. So, if you've been following me for a while, you probably noticed that I haven't been, I haven't uploaded as much in the last couple of months. Well, I've had a bit of trouble with self-worth, understanding my place in kind of everything, if I'm honest. And it's hard, it's been eating away at my brain. It gets me to a point where I start thinking, what is the point in doing these videos? What is the point in pushing so hard and tattooing? What is the point in anything, right? Not too drastic, like I'm a happy guy, yeah? But I got very in my head about what I should and shouldn't be doing. It threw my routine out of whack. It was hard to deal with. And I feel like it could be a big thing in tattooing, you know, when a job involves so much and you're also running it yourself, you are your own business. So yeah, I got kind of lost for a while and I still feel like it now, but I am, more understanding i'm giving myself a bit more space to to flourish a bit more in what i'm doing like when it comes to these videos it was really hard to think of things that i think people would like because as much as it's doing well and i've got some really nice comments from you guys and nice messages and it's really supporting as some of you probably know when you feel a certain way it doesn't matter what people say you feel like it's pointless and like if you make something are people gonna give a shit and you know what I did think that about pretty much everything I was making. I got stumped on ideas and what to do. And it's only in the last couple of weeks that I've just thought, you know what, fuck it. This is my YouTube channel. If I want to make videos, I can make what I want. You don't have to like everything. I don't have to please everyone. If I want to make a damn video about hunting aliens out in the fucking wilderness in England, wherever the wilderness is left, to tattooing a man's scrotum to fucking free diving off the edge of a tulip, I don't know, some bullshit, then I should make it. This is my YouTube channel. When I started the YouTube channel, I wanted it to be more of a influence, a motivation for young tattooists to young tat babies to becoming them tat wizards. Isn't everything in your life an influence on your work? Because I think it is. So you don't have to enjoy everything I put out, but there will be stuff that I do put out that you might sele selectively enjoy. So I'm just gonna go at it. I'm gonna make the videos I wanna make. They're cheesy, they're fucking cheesy. I don't give a shit, some things I enjoy. I like telling little stories. Some of them are crap, some of them are good. Some of them are funny, some of them aren't. Sometimes they're serious, sometimes they're not. So I'm gonna make some fucking story videos. You know, sometimes I might wanna start talking about ancient ruins during a, a drawing session. And sometimes I want to do a drawing session, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I want to make a video, I'm just chatting about stuff. And I think that's the beauty of this stuff is as an artist, you need to do what keeps your brain full. If you start getting hungry, it's because you're trying too hard to please everyone else. You have to make things that satisfy your hunger because otherwise, it just becomes a job. And the work you put out has no passion. You need to feed your creative brain particles for the work to progress, let's say. And yes, there is a job side to it. You have to draw for your customer. You have to please your customer because you're getting paid for that and that's what they're coming to you for. But even then, even in that respect, you can still tell your customer if if they come to you with an idea, you're not gonna enjoy tattooing and you're, you're in a position to be a bit more picky with your toes, then there is no harm in tending them. You're not gonna enjoy it, but here's some artists that will and send them that way. And I think that's respectful to yourself and to them. So yeah, I guess I drifted off track a little bit, but what I'm saying is this will happen again. I have ups and downs. M my routine did get uh, thrown out of whack. I was, you know, I was going to the gym a lot and then my back started hurting so bad that even going to the gym and picking a dumbbell up off the side, put my back out and then I had to waddle out of the gym like some ancient old man. And it was embarrassing. It made me feel humiliated. That was something that I cherished. I don't talk about being ripped. The feeling I get from working out or exerting energy, especially in the mornings, I cherish that feeling and that helps me get through the day. It helps me concentrate. It helps me think rationally about 
how to approach things. And that wasn't the only thing. There was a lot of things that happened, a lot of things to do with where I'm living, finance, financial stuff. And the shop, we just signed a new lease. You know, there's a lot going on. Like my girlfriend, she's had her knee surgery and she's been off for years and she's still off work. And as you can imagine, that as taxing as it is for her and I'm trying to be there, there's a lot on my plate because a lot more of the financial side is on me. So without getting too personal about my personal life, there was a lot. And I feel like I've just rec uh, recently started going back to not giving a shit as much. And that is putting it as plain as possible. Getting back to a point where I don't give a shit, where my routine is my routine and I'm stop thinking, I stopped thinking about what the point is in doing these things. When before I was happiest, when I was doing them, when I was overly busy doing all this shit, you know, I'm at my worst when I don't have things to do or when I'm out of my routine. That's when I'm at my worst. So I fucking drifted off there in conversation about shit that probably doesn't matter. But I thought I'd put it out there. I feel at ease talking to a non-human camera lens sometimes, even if this is going out to all of you. I don't like being completely public and vocal with my feelings and what is going on in my head, but I find this is easier. And it's things like this that probably isn't good because that is a mess. I need to clean that desktop up. I promise you, I know what all of that shit is. I promise you, I probably don't. But anyway, I should have closed that screen before I started recording. Now you can see the clutter. You're gonna be like, Jason, there's a prime example of why your fucking head is all over the place. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for listening anyway. I'm back, I've got some videos on the plan. I just recorded another one now, so you're gonna see me in a video next week wearing the same fucking clothes. Love you guys. Please subscribe and like and all that fucking bollocks. Love you. Mwah.